Heavy metal on the move in Iraq. It's a CNN exclusive. In order to embed with U.S. Special Forces, though, CNN did have to agree not to reveal the identities of either the U.S. or Iraqi Special Force operatives. The military says it's for their protection. They could be identified by enemy forces around the world. Our Cal Perry has this report now on a raid targeting more than a dozen alleged members of al-Qaeda. The Green Berets, one of America's elite military units, prepare for a mission in Hilla, Iraq, in the middle of what used to be known as the Triangle of Death. Heavy metal blares while they gear up, but tonight these highly trained soldiers, who are used to being out in front, will take a back seat. Iraqi special forces are spearheading the mission. Obviously they've taken the lead now, it's their show. Um, they, we are definitely to the point where it is train the trainer and not just train the troops. The Iraqi special forces get their own briefing before they too mount up and head out. Their soundtrack, distinctly Iraqi, as the team rolls through the town of Hilla. But it doesn't all go smoothly. In a dramatic sign of the distrust between different parts of Iraq's security forces, the soldiers confiscate cell phones from the local police in case they tip off the targets. Off the paved roads, clouds of sand obscure the soldiers' view. Radios crackle as they close in. Then, in a flash, they crash the target building. The emergency response brigade, basically Iraqi Special Forces, backed by United States Special Forces Green Berets, have detained who they believe to be alleged members of al-Qaeda. You can see them here, four individuals who have warrants against them. They've also found weapons in this house. The team checks names and ID cards against the names in the judge's warrants. Later, the U.S. military tells us the individuals detained are suspected of involvement with an al-Qaeda cell operating in this volatile province. They are driven away to be detained not in a U.S. camp, but in an Iraqi prison. Cal Perry CNN embedded with U.S. and Iraqi special forces in Hilla, Iraq.